So I have a problem that I'm hoping ChatGPT can help me to solve. This is an article on the Chronicle of Higher Education webpage. I learned about it from a newsletter that I got from Chronicle. And the problem is when I click the link in the newsletter, it directs me to the page for the article and requires me to log in behind a paywall. That's totally reasonable. I don't have a personal subscription to chronicle.com, but my institution does have an institutional subscription. The way I can access that is to go through my institution's link that goes to the homepage of chronicle.com. And the problem is a lot of times the article that I want to read is several days or weeks old, and it can be difficult to find that article from the homepage again once a bunch of new articles have hit the homepage. Um, and so I want to try to find a way for a JavaScript bookmarklet to rewrite the URL here. I've noticed that when I am browsing chronicle.com from the proxy that my university provides, it changes the subdomain, www domain chronicle and top level domain com to be separated by dashes and then it uses all of those as a subdomain of proxy.wichita.edu. And so I, I know that this is a thing that I can do with a JavaScript bookmarklet, but I want to see if I can get ChatGPT to write that bookmarklet for me. Can you please help me write a JavaScript bookmarklet? Thanks. Yes, there is a specific task. I want the bookmarklet to look at the current URL and redirect to a new URL based on the current one. So this is getting pretty close. It's telling me that it's going to grab the current location. So this is the current URL that I'm on. And if it sees google.com anywhere in there, um, so this is saying if, if, the, uh, uh, if it is anywhere in there, so that's what the current, dot, current URL dot index of is doing. If it returns negative one, then it's not there. Um, so if there's not a google.com, then it will uh, not do anything. If there is, it will send me to Bing, which is a weird thing to want to do, but whatever. Um, so I guess I need to be more specific. Well, obviously, I need to be more specific. Uh, I want the bookmarklet. I should say thank you first. Thanks. I want the bookmarklet to take everything from the domain and subdomain of the current URL, replace the dots with dashes, and use that as the, as a subdomain, as a subdomain of proxy.wichita.edu while keeping the rest of the path the same. Let's see how it does. So it's going to grab the current URL and it's going to split it. Okay. So it's splitting it where the slashes are. So that's what we want. And it's going to look at the second part. So after the, uh, well, actually the third part. So after the second slash, um, and it's going to replace dots with dashes. Um, and then it's going to put everything back together from the chunks that it separated out before. This looks like it will work. It is a little bit different than a solution that I would otherwise use, but I think it should work. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I am going to click copy code. So this is now on my clipboard. I'm going to uh, go to manage bookmarks and I'll put this right in my bookmarks toolbar. I will add a bookmark and we'll say read chronic 
goal. And I will paste this as the URL. So that should all be fine. I don't need any of this other stuff. I'll say OK. I'll put it here at the end. Uh, and we'll see if it works. So if I go over here to, this is the article we were looking at. Um, and I click Read Chronicle, what I should see is I should be redirected to a URL that looks similar, but this part of it, only this part of it, should change. And I guess I'm already logged in. It did a weird thing with the fonts, but I think that's just a coincidence. Um, I am already logged in because it didn't ask me to log in. Hey, it totally worked. Totally, totally worked. Amazing. 